Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I'm rushing through this intro because I just got a phone call from my son's school. I need to go pick him up. So I'm gonna have to make this quick, but today we're doing a full face of new things, not necessarily new launches, um, but new stuff to me. There are some new launches in here, um, actually including the new Aether mascara. I've got stuff from Nude Sticks, Armani, Makeup Forever, what else do we have? We got we got a lot of things. We got a little bit of skincare. So we're just gonna sit down. I'm gonna apply everything, kind of give you my first impressions. Some of it I have been using for quite a while, so I can give you pretty good review, but a lot of this is first impressions. So without further ado, make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack. I'm gonna try and suck down my coffee on the way to school, and let's go ahead and get into it. So I actually had some prep or like skincare steps that I wanted to mention because I've been using these for two weeks I believe and I wanted to mention them because I'm kind of obsessed so if you don't know this um, I don't switch up my skincare routine too much I like to just stick to what works I have very sensitive skin um, it's a little bit finicky and if I just like something and my skin likes something and I know it works I don't like to deviate However, this particular brand came across my table. Um, I did receive these products in PR. And typically when I get skincare in PR, I, I usually just pass it on to someone else um, because, like I said, my skin is finicky. But there was something about this brand and just their message that really caught my eye. So this is the brand Matter of Fact. Uh, they only have two products. They have a moisturizer and a vitamin C serum. Um, so I was just kind of reading through the ingredients, um, and I really like their ingredients, very simple, no fragrance, just very minimal ingredient list, and I liked their whole message. It was very much like, you know, skincare is very personal to everyone, not everything works for everyone. It's not sponsored or in collaboration or anything like that. I just received these in PR, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and give them a shot. I am like scraping the bottom of my Pyong Kong Yul Nutrition Cream. So I was like, well, before I purchase that, let me just give this a try. I really, really like the ingredients of the moisturizer. So the great thing about this brand is they sent samples as well as the full size, which I think is awesome. I wish more brands did that so that we could try it out. And then if it doesn't work, we're not wasting an entire bottle of the product. So they sent a sample of each of their products. Um, I tried out the minimalist hydrating cream first. Um, this is what the sample packaging looks like. You get 0.33 ounces or 10 mils in the sample. So I tested this out. This lasted me for about a week. Um, and I loved it. My skin loved it. It's a really thick hydrating cream the texture is so beautiful on the skin it's very very different than any other moisturizers that i have and i don't know my skin just like was like yes please so i used this up i started using the full size love this love it so much then i thought well let me just go and integrate the vitamin c serum since i tried this out i know my skin likes it i haven't had any adverse reactions Let's just try the vitamin C out for a little bit. So I have the sample of the vitamin C serum. I've been using this for about a week. I use it morning, in the mornings, and I love this as well. It has not broken me out. I love the texture. It's really, really good, and these two paired together are beautiful. So I'm going to continue using them. I'm still using the sample of the vitamin C. I'm using the full size of the cream. If I continue to like the vitamin C, then I will use the full size of the vitamin C serum, but I just wanted to let you know those are two new skincare products that I'm trying out and I'm seeing really good results and I really, really like them. So I've thoroughly enjoyed those. Just wanna let you know that's what I have on my skin right now and that is it. Um, so we're gonna move on to foundation. This is not a new foundation. This has been around for a long time. Um, I actually tried this foundation out either at the beginning of this year or sometime last year, but I didn't have my right shade, so I just never really tried it out. Um, so I'm gonna go and use this today. This is the Armani Luminous Silk. It's the Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. I know this is a cult favorite. Everyone loves this, everyone. Everyone has talked about this. I mean, this is like years and years. Everyone uses this. So I actually had the opportunity to do a masterclass with Melanie Inglesis, which is, I think it's their global makeup artist. 
She's French, she's amazing, she's super talented, and I got to see how she used their Luminous Silk collection. Um, I have a few other products from the line, and I thought I would just put this on today. I've actually, surprisingly enough, I've been getting a ton of DMs from y'all asking to talk about this foundation or to give my two cents. So I've only worn it a couple times, but I can kind of give you my, like, my two cents as of now. Um, but I am the shade 6 and 3.5. 3.5 is my non-self-tan shade. 6 is my self-tan shade. So I'm going to use 6 today because I do have a fresh self-tan on. And um, I've used this foundation with a brush and a sponge. I mean, I like both. I'm going to use it with a sponge today um, just for a kind of lighter application. I'm just using the BK Beauty sponge. And my initial thoughts of this foundation are it's just a really good, like, medium, solid medium coverage foundation. I don't think it does anything super different. Not that, like, foundations need to be super extra and, like, different and unique and innovative. But I just feel like for the price, it's not anything that's, like, makes me want to reach for this over some of my other foundations that aren't as expensive. Um... So yeah, I enjoy it. It's beautiful. It's got, um, you know, nice medium coverage. It has a really nice finish. It's not too overly glowy, which in my mind, I had always assumed that this foundation was very glowy, very dewy, but it's actually a nice kind of more satin finish. Um, so if you have oily skin, you know, I think this would be fine for you. Maybe just set it down with a powder. Um, but yeah, it's just like, I can see why so many people like it, and I think it's just because it's that good, solid foundation that you can rely on, that looks beautiful on the skin, multiple skin types can use this, easy to blend out, wears very well. It is beautiful. It's really nice. It's very lightweight. It's actually very liquidy, um, which I find just kind of makes it feel really light and just natural on the skin. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a ton of makeup, and just really easy to blend out. I think my perspective is a little bit tainted just because I've been hearing about this foundation for years. I feel like everyone and their mother uses it. I mean, every major beauty influencer has used this foundation at some point, and I feel like the reviews overall are very positive. I feel like makeup artists really enjoy this foundation and use it a lot. So I feel like my perspective is tainted because I've just only heard positive things about it. So I feel like when I tried it, I was just like, oh. Like, it's nice, but, I mean, I don't know if it would be something that I would rave about. So, if you've tried this foundation, if you have a lot of experience with it, like, what are your thoughts? What do you think about this foundation? Do you think it's worth the hype? Um, I know it's a very pricey foundation. And, I don't know, I guess I was expecting something a little bit different or something a little bit more. I don't know. I mean, a foundation can only do so much, you know? But... I just feel like there are so many other great ones, even from the drugstore, that perform just as well. So I also have the concealer. Um, this is the Luminous Silk Concealer. So I have the shades 4 and 6. 4 is a quite brightening shade on me. I'm going to use mainly 6, but I will mix in a little bit of 4. And I think out of the two, out of the concealer and the foundation, I actually prefer the concealer. Yeah, so if you've tried any of the Luminous Silk products, I do have a couple more I'm going to use today. Um, but if you've tried these, what are your thoughts? What do you think about the foundation, the concealer? Do you think it's worth the hype? Like, what are your thoughts? I'd be curious to hear from y'all rather than other influencers. Um, you know, just kind of hear from the people to see what you think. Because I think, I think it's nice. I actually like that the foundation is a little bit more lightweight, kind of has more of a fluid texture, whereas the concealer is a little bit thicker, more hard hitting, has more coverage. I think they're a great duo. Again, I can see why people really enjoy these, but I'd be curious to see what y'all, what y'all's thoughts are. And if you think it really is worth all this hype, because I just feel like for years, I've heard nothing but positive, positive, positive about the foundation. I haven't heard as much about the concealer, but foundation, I mean, everyone uses this foundation. All right, so I got some new products from the brand Trestique. I've used them before. Um, if you're not familiar, they're very much like a girl-on-the-go type of brand where everything is... Um, 
in a stick form, very much like nude sticks, where you have the cream product on one side, it comes with a brush, like everything is just very easy, quick, and simple. Um, something that they have changed with their packaging is everything is refillable now, which I think is really cool. Um, so they sent over some of their products and I thought we would try them out today. I have used their highlighter before, their cream highlighter, which I'll use today. And I love it. The formula is very, very creamy, very easy to blend out. Just, it's a very natural, no makeup type of brand, but they do have a lot of fun colors as well. So I think that's cool. So if you like nude sticks or if you are familiar with nude sticks, this is a very, very similar concept. So I'm going to use their bronzer stick in the shade Brazilian Bronze. All these makeup products literally fit in this little pouch. So this is something that would be great to take on the go. So I'm going to try out this cream bronzer. Y'all know I love a good cream bronzer. So we'll see. Ooh, that is a great shade. We'll see how this works. That's a really nice shade. And it's a nice kind of more neutral undertone. So I'm going to grab a brush. This is my Bare Minerals smoothing face brush it's one of my favorite brushes for cream bronzer Ooh, i love that the shade is so perfect um formula wise it's creamy really easy to blend like no effort um it's not as creamy as the persona bronzing stick so for me if you're familiar with that that one's like super creamy like you just touch it and it just blends itself out this one is a little bit more of a thicker cream. Um, I say it's a little more dry, but it's not dry. It just has a little bit more of a drier texture to it where it's not super slippery on the skin. Yeah, that's very, very nice. Very natural, very subtle. I am going to take a little bit down my nose. I'm just going to use my BK Beauty 205 and just pick some up off the stick. All right, so I thought I would compare it shade wise to some of my other cream bronzers. All right, so that's the Tristique one. Love the undertone of that. All right, so I pulled my Persona bronzer stick. This is in the shade Dune. Yeah, the Persona one is so creamy and has more of a dewy finish, whereas the Tristique one is more matte. And you can kind of see here the Persona one is lighter. And then I pulled my Makeup by Mario uh, Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in the shade Light Medium. Ooh, yeah, the Makeup by Mario one is a lot more cool as well. So... That's what the three look like. I'm actually kind of surprised. The Tristique one actually looks more warm, the most warm, but I feel like it's really not that warm. The Tristique one is actually quite matte on the skin. Yeah, and it feels very matte on the skin as well. Yeah, so if you have more of an oily skin type or you don't like a dewy, creamy cream bronzer, this might be a really good option. All right, so I have two highlighters. I have the Armani Fluid Sheer. And I have the Tristique Highlight Stick. Maybe I'll do one on each side so you can kind of get a feel for how they look. Um, I've tried the Fluid Sheer a few times. This was actually one of the products that Melanie wa was talking about in her master class. And she actually applied this over her powder and almost just applied it like all over the face to kind of... I don't know, like liven up the face, bring back some more glow. And I thought that was really cool how she mixed different textures because I think a lot of times we just assume you can't apply creams on top of powders, which I apply creams on top of powders all the time. Um, but I thought it was cool that she took this so liberally all over the face on top of her powders. They have a ton of different shades of this, like really bronzy shades, blushy shades. Um, I got more of like a champagne highlight shade. This is the shade two. I love the texture of this. It's a nice kind of like serum-y texture, very, very lightweight, great for mixing in with products. My only thing is when I, I feel like when I apply this to my face, I can see the little bits of glitter, which I'm not a fan of. So I'm actually gonna pick this up with my sponge and just pat that right on the cheekbones. On camera, it's probably gonna look, you know, a little more dewy, glowy you're not going to be able to see the little bits of glitter but I feel like for me the little particles of glitter are pretty noticeable um the new LYS aim high liquid highlighters those are so good and I much prefer 
the way that looks on the skin over this it's a lot more of like a glossy dewy just like that just that perfect little hint of shine on the cheek whereas this a little bit this is a little bit more noticeable so I'm now going to go in with the Tristique can't say that highlight stick this is in the shade Maldives luminescent um, so I'll swatch this one again kind of this little chubby stick has a brush on the other side and it's refillable as well um, this one's quite light I don't know how this will work on my skin tone but yeah you can see it's got quite an intense base pigment I have used this before and actually really liked it um, there's no like chunky glitter it's definitely a just like shimmer to it um, definitely more natural than the Armani one so I'm just gonna take this right on the cheek and then right up to my forehead and then I'll just use my sponge to blend this out again this is more of a matte formula even though it has a sheen to it it is matte it's not cr it's not too creamy or too like it's not oily or greasy on the skin definitely has a matte finish all right so before we move on I do want to powder my face now this is a new product however I've been using this for a long I've been using this for a while I think I've had this for three weeks now maybe two and a half weeks and um, I originally ordered the mini size and I loved it so much so I ended up ordering a full size so I'm going to open up my full size today and then I'm going to use my mini size in my purse for touch-ups um, but this is the makeup makeup forever ultra HD uh, micro finishing pressed powder so I also ordered their re reboot foundation the ultra HD self setting concealer um, one of their sponges I think that was it and then other loose powder so I ordered a mini size of the loose powder and a mini size of the pressed powder and I much preferred the pressed powder so I ended up placing another order and I ordered the full size because I loved this powder so much so it's just a pressed tra pressed translucent powder but this powder is so good it makes your skin look poreless it's beautiful um, it reminds me a lot of the RMS Unpowder, which I used to love. I went through a couple of those. That's a really good one. Um, reminds me of the 14E Powder. And I like the loose version, but my problem with loose translucent powders like this is that they can really darken my foundation and concealer. And I think it's because it's loose, and then when you put that on top of a wet, creamy base it darkens the powder and that's what I was having issues with with that loose powder so with the pressed powder I have not had that issue at all I love this powder so much it sets my makeup all day long I actually wore this yesterday and I got rained on several times I had my makeup on from 6 a.m. 6 a.m. till 11 p.m. I had a really long day yesterday got rained on had the top off the Jeep, like all the elements, and my makeup looked so good at the end of the night. So, now my foundation and everything else I was wearing was really great as well, but this powder is so good. So anyway, I'm going to stop ranting about this. I'm just going to go and apply it. It's really good if you're looking for a great pressed powder. This one is really, really good. Um, it's very similar to the Bare Minerals. Uh, original mineral veil the new pressed powder but this one's a little bit more blurring than that one so I think if you already have the bare minerals run you don't need this one they're very very similar um, but I find that this one just it makes my skin look so soft and smooth and poreless even though it's not poreless and it just really gives the most beautiful soft focus effect and I'm obsessed with this powder this is the one that I've been using non-stop I am almost out of my Danessa Myricks powder and I don't think I'm going to repurchase it because I just I just love this one way too much all right so I want to do a little bit of bronzer and this is actually not a bronzer but I was inspired by Melanie in the Armani Masterclass to use this as a bronzer so this is the 
Luminous Silk Glow Fusion Powder. Um, this is in the shade 5.5. And it looks like this. This powder is really pretty. It's very, very glowy. Honestly, for me, it's a little too glowy all over the face to set the face. Um, I love using this as a highlighter or just kind of on the high points of the face, just almost like a finishing powder. But I also love using this deeper shade as a bronzer. Now, this might not show up on me today because I only used shade 6 in the foundation. So this may not show up on me. Well, we're just going to try it out. But I thought I would just share it with you because this one, this is a product that I have been using. So I'm just going to go over top that cream contour. Yeah, I don't know if this is actually going to show up. It's showing up a little bit. Um, but when I use uh, the foundation in the shade 3.5, or I use just any foundation that's a little bit lighter, or I don't have a self-tan, uh, this shows up really nice. All right, so I have a few blush options. I have one from Tristique as well. This is in the shade Moroccan Rose. This is their blush stick. I don't think I'm going to use this today. It's very, very pink. And the eye look that I'm doing is not going to be very pink. You can see that's like a true, like, Barbie pink. Um, it's really pretty. Again, matte finish. Um, but yeah, not really the vibe that I'm going for today. Um, I also have the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Face Bronze Color in Beach Babe. I think you can use this as a bronzer or a blush. Or maybe it's just a blush. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the Nude Sticks um, face products. I have not tried any of their stick face products. This is actually my first one. So this is in the shade Beach Babe. I may use this. And then I also have their, um, what is this called? Sun and Sea Kit. Um, so it comes with some eye products, lip products, and cheek products. And um, in the kit, there is the Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in Crave and the Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in Babe. So I'm going to swatch both of those. These are very, very dewy. We may just have to do the eyes first and then come back to the blush. So this is Babe and this is Crave from Nude Sticks. And then this is Beach Babe. And then this is the one from Tristique, which is called... Moroccan Rose. All right, guys, so I just got a phone call from, from my son's school, and I need to go pick him up. So I'm going to do this very quickly. Um, I'm not going to be able to use everything today, but I'm just going to do a really quick eye look. I wanted to mention a couple things that I have. So there's this new brand called Callie Ray. I believe this is the owner of Urban Decay. She has now, or one of the owners of Urban Decay, she has now come out with her own line that's supposed to be clean, sustainable, all that stuff. So they have come out with eye definers and a mascara. So I'll go ahead and get, take all of these out and swatch them for you. Um, but it just says a long wear eye pencil. Um, says it uses bioplastic, it's cruelty free, it's clean, um, bioplastic pencil and 100% post-consumer recycled paper box. It says it's got nine hours of wear. All right, so I got sent three shades. I don't know if this is all three shades that they have or the only shades that they have, but this teal shade is called The Deep, the brown shade is called Secret Spot, and the black shade is called Night Diving. They also came out with a mascara. It's called the Come Hell or High Water Clean Mascara, Clean Mascara Zero Smudge Volumizing and Curling. Um, so yeah. So I think I'll use one of the pencils today. Um, I have another mascara. I actually have the new Aether Mascara. So I think I'm going to use the Aether Mascara today. And I will test this mascara out in another video but I'll go and show you what it looks like um, so this is the mascara the packaging's really cute I can definitely kind of sense a very playful like young vibe to this brand um, it's definitely very like California-esque um, but that's the mascara Oh, so, Trustique has these smudge eye pencils this is their original packaging this is the shade Swiss chocolate 
Um, so this is their original packaging, but they've now come out with refillable packaging. That is the Trustique Swiss Chocolate. A little bit more of a satin finish compared to the other ones. The other ones are extremely matte. Um, so I have those. I have a lot of eye pencils today. And then I also have this Trustique Shadow Crayon in Morimoto Shimmer. It's just a eyeshadow crayon, which I am all about. So I'll swatch that for you as well. Just kind of a pretty, like, icy shade. I have the Nude Sticks Sun and Sea Kit, which comes in this box. And then it's got some magnetic matte eye colors. It has some uh, magnetic luminous magnetic luminous eye colors, and then those balms for the lips and cheeks. So I think I'm gonna save this for a different video. I don't even know if this is still available as a kit. I'll have to double check on their website, but I'm gonna save this for another video and play with these new Cali Ray eye pencils. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Secret Spot, which is that brown shade from Cali Ray. And I'm just gonna do, oh yeah, these are a little bit more dry. Not quite as creamy and not super, super pigmented. It's a very like light, yeah, not a ton of pigmentation. I'm gonna take a little pencil brush just kind of smudge that in. Mm. It's actually looking a little patchy. I don't know if you can tell right there. It's really clinging. It's not blending in as smoothly as other pencils that I like. Oof, yeah, I don't know if you can see it on this eye. Really patchy. Like, it won't even blend right there. Yeah, I'm very... um. Yeah, really hard to blend out. It's actually becoming very sticky and kind of tacky. And yeah, see how it's just got this area that won't blend. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Trustique liner and just go right, ooh yeah. See how, you can see how much more creamy. It's like one swipe and you get that immediate payoff. I'm gonna blend that. I'm gonna see if we can make this look a little bit more soft and blended so not a huge fan of that cali ray liner that was super dry very sheer and very very patchy um, i'll have to try some of the other colors another time to kind of see if it's maybe just that color i don't know um, i'm going to take a little bit of my bronzer and just kind of go over top to hide a little bit of the patchiness. Right, I'm also going to take my bronzer along my lower lash line as well. Alright, so like I mentioned, I have the new Aether Mascara. I think I'm going to save the Cali Ray Mascara for another video. I just want to focus on this one. This is the Big Bang Mascara from Aether. It's brand new, and I'm actually really curious to see what this mascara is all about. So it's it says it has the ultimate panoramic lash volumizing mascara that curls, restores, and defines. It's made with pure black diamond powder for supreme shine. Interesting. It has a glossy finish enriched with ingredients that work to prevent breakage plus a combination of plant-based waxes and oils. That's very interesting. A shiny, glossy mascara. I don't know about that, but this is what the tube looks like. It's actually quite different for Aether. I feel like the packaging is... Um, kind of different and this is what the wand looks like all right so that's one coat on this eye actually not too bad I'm definitely seeing volume it's not holding a curl which is typical um, I never really expect mascaras to hold a curl unless they're waterproof, so that's not surprising. I'm going to do one good coat on each eye, let it dry, and then go in with a second coat. Alright, so that's one solid coat. I'm going to let this dry, I'm going to apply some blush, and then we'll come back and apply the second coat. 
Um, all right, so I'm just going to go in with the Nude Sticks Beach Babe all over face color. Um, I think I'm just going to go directly onto the face. And I'm going to use a sponge or a, a brush because it is a little bit of a thicker formula. I don't know if my sponge will blend that out. That's pretty. It's not a color I would typically go for, but it's blending out nicely. Definitely matte. Yeah, that's nice. I don't love the color. It's definitely, it's not my kind of shade, but the formula is nice, which is really all that matters. So maybe I'll have to try some other shades. We'll say with this Aether mascara, it feels, the packaging feels very like plasticky and very, I don't want to say cheap, but it's just very, very light. I'm assuming it's because... It's made with 100% recycled ocean plastic, and it has a biodegradable wand. Um, so again, I'm not a packaging person. I don't care what the packaging looks like. As long as it performs, I don't care. But I just wanted to make note of that. It feels like very, very lightweight and kind of flimsy. All right, so I like it. It's not like super, super volumizing. But it definitely has like a decent amount. I'll definitely keep playing with it. Mascaras I'm extremely picky about. And sometimes I need to give them a little bit of time to maybe dry out or just, you know, kind of play with a little bit more. But honestly, it's a lot. this looks a lot better than what I was expecting. I really wasn't expecting that much from this mascara. And it's actually quite nice. Not super volumizing, but I will continue to play with it. So I'm going to do a really quick lip. What do I want to do? I'm going to take the shade Babe, which was the kind of more warm peachy color. It's like that. I have actually never tried this formula before. Um, I've tried their cream formula, I think is what it's called. And it's got like the actual pencils, like the wood pencils, but I've never tried this formula before. All right, so I'm going to line my lips with LA Girl Cafe. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with Babe by Nude Sticks. Yeah, it kind of just feels like a tinted balm, but it's got a good amount of color. Very comfortable. Alright guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm so sorry to cut this short, but I have to go get my son. It's just how it goes, but I hope you enjoyed. I will definitely keep you updated on everything, and I will definitely use the Nude Sticks kit in another video. I will also test out the Cali Ray uh, eye pencils, the other shades, as well as the mascara, and keep you updated on everything. But I've got to go, so I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. You are